Brace yourself, everyone, because we're about to discuss the most famous cursed items around the globe. This vintage cutie has inspired some well-known Hollywood horror movies, but the real-life demon doll can be a lot more frightening than fake jump scares on the screen. In 1970, a young student nurse named Donna Jennings received a Raggedy Ann doll as a birthday gift. Her mother found this toy at an antique shop. Soon, Donna noticed that the doll appeared to move around the house on its own from places where she left it, but she didn't get rid of it until the situation got way worse. Donna's boyfriend began to mysteriously receive claw marks on his chest when he had sleepovers in her house. The family called famed demonologists Elizabeth and Ed Warren, who agreed to investigate that mystery. The couple claimed that the doll had all signs of demonic possession. They locked it in a specially made glass cabinet in their occult museum in Connecticut. To keep the evil powers under control, they regularly read prayers. Of course, demonology can hardly be called a classic science. But unfortunately, classic scientists were not brave enough to take the doll into a lab for testing. And while we're talking about creepy dolls, we can't skip this gentleman. Robert the Evil Doll is known to have caused several incidents, ranging from car accidents to divorces. In 1904, Robert Eugene Otto received this toy for his birthday. He belonged to a prominent Key West family. Some reports claim that his grandfather brought this souvenir from Germany. Others say it was gifted by one of the maids. Soon, the family began to notice the doll knocking furniture over during the night, teleporting, and even talking. The housemaids claimed to hear Otto having a conversation with the doll alone, in two distinct voices. When Otto passed away, a couple bought the house, and eventually, their eight-year-old daughter found Robert the doll in the attic. Soon, she complained to her parents that the toy was evil and tried to attack her. Thankfully, today the doll is locked in a glass box. It's displayed in a museum in Key West, but it's still believed to curse people. So if you ever want to go see it, take your time to research the safety rules. This modest wedding dress is not so innocent as it seems. It belonged to Anna Baker, the only daughter of a wealthy merchant. They lived in a fancy mansion in Altoona, USA. Anna's father wanted her to marry into an influential and rich family. But Anna fell in love with an ordinary iron worker, and they agreed to escape together. She purchased this dress for her upcoming secret wedding. But her father discovered their plans and ruined them. He forcefully locked Anna in her bedroom. She swore not to marry anyone else and spent the rest of her life alone. When her father passed away, Anna got out of the house and visited her former fiancé just to see him living happily ever after with another woman. Anna was very disappointed, so she continued living as a hermit in the family mansion. Her maids would often find Anna dancing around the house dressed in her unused wedding gown. After Anna passed away, the mansion turned into a museum, and the wedding dress is now part of the exhibition. Many visitors claim to see the dress moving inside the glass box, as if it was dancing. Skeptics mm. tried to find logical reasons causing the movement, but they failed to find any traces of wind or any other explanation. The dress is also known to put visitors into some sort of trance and make them see the phantom of Anna dancing around the house. Would you dare to try it on? The next cursed object is also associated with a sad love story. The so-called Bassano vase was crafted of silver in the 15th century in a small Italian town. It was supposed to be a wedding gift for a young bride delivered to her anonymously before the wedding. But unfortunately, the bride didn't make it to the wedding. When she didn't show up, locals began to look for her. They found the bride breathless on the floor with the vase clutched tightly in her cold hands. This tragic event was never explained. The silver vase was then passed on from one family to another. And according to the legend, each owner of this weird artifact lost their life. Then the vase disappeared and was rediscovered again in the 1980s. 
It said that a young man dug the vase up in his backyard. The details of this discovery vary from story to story, but they say he also found a creepy note. It said that the vase might cause a fatal outcome, but the man just ignored the grim warning and sold the treasure at an auction. Mysterious tragedies continued as the vase traveled from one household to another. Finally, it was offered to multiple museums, but all of them refused to deal with it because of its bad reputation. It remains unclear where exactly the vase is now, but some say it's hidden in a box underground in an inaccessible place. So if you ever dig this thing up in your backyard, be careful. The Hands Resist Him is known as one of the most haunted paintings in art history. Those who saw it claimed that the characters in the picture move or disappear in the nighttime. According to the artist, Bill Stoneham, this piece represents the doorway that connects the world of dreams and reality. Stoneham first presented his creation to the public in California back in the early 1970s. According to reports, the gallery owner, the art critic, and the buyer passed away soon after coming into contact with the painting. After that, no one knew where the painting was for years before one family found it completely abandoned in a brewery building. And in 2000, they decided to auction it online. Soon the painting became a meme because it had a spooky disclaimer saying that it carried some form of curse. The seller claims that the main character crawled out from the canvas at nighttime. The potential buyer had to sign an agreement absolving the seller from all liability. Nevertheless, the painting was sold for about $1,000, and its new owner didn't report any spooky events so far. But the auction page was viewed over 30,000 times, and many people claimed that simply viewing the photos of the painting made them feel sick or have unpleasant experiences. Here's another haunted painting, The Crying Boy, created by Italian artist Giovanni Bragolin. This work was mass-produced in the 1950s and gained fame worldwide. Gloomy rumors began to spread soon after multiple homes with this particular painting across the UK caught fire. But the most mysterious part is that no matter how severe the fire was, the painting each time remained undamaged. Some say those fires were just a coincidence, but still, nobody has yet found any scientific explanation for why the paintings are so indestructible. Just take a look at this solid packaging. Why in the world would someone need to seal a vial in such a massive plastic cube? It must be really dangerous. A few years ago, some viral rumors around the internet claimed that this substance scares the life out of scientists. But in fact, the vial contains a tiny fragment of a Zagami meteorite from Mars. Found in Nigeria in 1962, it became famous for being the largest single Mars meteorite ever found on Earth. Its full weight amounts to 40 pounds. According to the legend, coming in contact with this tiny piece of Mars was enough to cause fatal consequences. But don't worry, it's just a myth. Usually meteorites are even less radioactive than typical Earth rocks. Bad news, meteorites probably can't give you superpowers. But the good news is that they're not dangerous, unless you're touching them while they're piercing the atmosphere at the speed of 44 miles per second. And as for the plastic cube, it was created as a convenient packaging to sell Zagami fragments to private collectors. And speaking of rocks, it's better to think twice before taking small fragments home as a travel souvenir. This epic sandstone formation is Uluru Rock. Located in the Northern Territory of Australia, this place is considered sacred by the locals. That's why they advise visitors not to sneak anything from the site. But many fearless tourists ignore their recommendations. Those who brought home small chunks of the rock reported experiencing sickness, bad luck, terrible breakups, and even fatal events. According to reports, many people who removed Uluru fragments attempted to mail them back to various agencies, trying to remove the perceived curse.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.